Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we're gonna do a technique of purification technique which is known as solvent extraction by using this uh, separating funnel. So first of all uh, I have to uh, maximize the polarity of my uh, solvent which is uh, water uh, from, uh, by which I will uh, make here I will, uh, an aqueous layer. So I'm gonna add this uh, salt which is sodium bicarbonate in this water and now I have to stir it uh, to dissolve all the salt in this water to maximize its polarity so that's uh, our uh, inorganic or uh, every inorganic material will dissolve in this uh, mixture or this solution in aqueous layer. Here uh, we have two solvents, uh, one is uh, water uh, which has uh, di uh, with dissolved sodium bicarbonate and other one is ethyl acetate which is uh, which will make organic layer in this uh, purification technique. So, so by this technique uh, we gonna separate our organic product with inorganic impurities. Um, before pouring our uh, solvents into this separating funnel make sure that your cork should be tightly packed and uh, it should be uh, tightly packed because uh, your solvent can escape from this cork so make sure so first of all uh, I gonna add water uh, in this separating funnel which will make our aqueous layer and uh, now I gonna add my organic solvent which is ethyl acetate because here we are uh, uh, going to separate our ester so for that uh, uh, I can use ethyl acetate which will be our organic solvent and which will make our organic layer now we have to wait a while uh, and uh, you can see that two layers one will be organic and another will be inorganic layer or aqueous and uh, organic layer will separate out in this uh, separating funnel here uh, you can see clearly uh, one layer is uh, is of uh, ethyl acetate and other one is of uh, aqueous layer uh, so actually the density of this ethyl acetate is much more lower than the density of water so it will go above uh, and all the organic uh, components will be collected in the layer which is present at upper surface uh, now in next step I gonna add my product into this separating funnel add it carefully so that your product will uh, should not be wasted make sure that your all the product uh, should be poured into this separating funnel After adding the solution and the product, I have to put this stopper uh, onto this separating funnel and uh, later on I have to shake it uh, to erase, to remove all the carbon dioxide which will be collected in this uh, transformation. After adding our product, we have to shake this separating funnel very well. And make sure that both the corks, both the stoppers should be uh, tightly fit. We have to remove carbon dioxide and remove it uh, continuously. Shake it very well so that 
both the organic and inorganic layer aqueous and organic layer should be mixed well so that every organic particle should move into the organic layer now uh, put this separating funnel at stationary condition so that uh, your organic and inorganic aqueous and organic layer uh, will take time to separate uh, from each other and organic layer will carry all the organic product in this reaction and all the acid which was uh, or initially uh, which was our initial uh, substance uh, will be collected into this or uh, inorganic or aqueous layer now you can see the separation of layers the organic layers uh, the organic layer is being collected at the upper surface and the other one layer is uh, of aqueous layer which has all the inorganic impurities including water in it now it's time to separate our layers so first of all i will collect my aqueous layer from lower surface by opening this cork We are now we are separating our aqueous and organic layer so be careful that uh, your organic layer should not pour into uh, from downward so you have to be uh, extra careful while doing this now after that I have to collect my organic layer so for that uh, uh, I will not collect my organic layer from lower side because uh, if I will collect my organic layer from this side so uh, water molecules will trap uh, into this product so uh, water molecules can make my product impure so for that I have to uh, pour my product from upper side of this separating funnel uh, now at this time I have added a dehydrating agent uh, which is uh, sodium sulfate in my organic layer so that uh, any of the water molecules which are present in this layer can be separated uh, now it is the last stage of this purification technique uh, in which we want to filter our uh, organic product which contains uh, calcium sulfate sodium sulfate and all the insoluble impurities will be separated from our organic product the our organic product along with solvent will be collected in this lower beaker which will be uh, in our filtrate so in this way we will get our pure product organic product in this speaker so we will keep it for uh, drying at room temperature so that all the solvent will evaporate from this uh, and we will get pure crystals of uh, my ester thank you very much subscribe and share my videos subscribe my channel and share my videos thank you bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, this is my product in my lab uh, i have uh, made an ester uh, so in this ester I have got three type of uh, crystals uh, one is uh, uh, so amorphous and uh, other one has the colorless crystals with the with the diameter with a good diameter and uh, you can see the third one uh, having the less diameter uh, these crystals are formed due to nucleations nucleation of atoms and particles uh, and molecules uh, and in this technique the nucleation happened uh, 
is so clever manner and so good so the crystals can be so better